Hi, I'm Alice Marie of Bristol Fish Project, here to talk to you about our new course and introduction to aquaponics. It's the course that I wish had been available two years ago when I started out with Bristol Fish Project. And it really brings together the experience, knowledge, know-how and people that we've found have been vital in, in our two years running to date. It's put together as a 12-week course, mainly Wednesday evenings, 7 till 9, in Bristol. Um, but there are a couple of weekend more hands-on activities as well because we really wanted to mix kind of the theory with practice. The course itself is designed so that if you want to be setting up your own small system as we go through the 12 weeks it provides a good framework for doing that. The first session is going to be an introduction to aquaponics, how it involves the coupling of aquaculture and hydroponics, why it's distinct from either of these, and looking at the state of the art in aquaponics in Europe, the world, and where the most interesting and innovative projects are happening. Um, the second session is a weekend of visits, going to see what actually happens in an aquaculture facility, what does a hydroponic farm look like, and then to visit a semi-commercial aquaponics in Anglesey, Herbs from Wales, who are kind enough to be part of this course. The third session's on policy and compliance, and CFAS, that's the fisheries part of DEFRA, are kindly sending us Keith Jeffrey from the Fish Health Inspectorate to present on compliance and policy. And then we have somebody from the Bristol Municipality to talk to us about the other side of the aquaponics story, what health and safety and food safety and quality issues come up when you're selling food to the public. The fourth session is another practical session, the weekend uh, developing and building um, an aquaponics setup. Um, our experience was we learn by doing and to get our heads around how a system works. It's better to get your hands dirty and actually start cutting things up and connecting them together. Um, we'll be building bell siphons, sumps, looking at different pumps and all the different technical things that go on when you put a system together. The fifth session is on healthy ecosystems for aquaponics, monitoring your system and what's called cycling your system. Um, CFAS again will be helping us with the ecosystem part of that and we'll be looking a little bit as well at fish densities and pheromones and other things that are all part of monitoring your system. The sixth session is on plant selection and the hydroponics component of the system. Um, looking at things like what are the nutrient profiles of different plants but also what are really helpful buffer plants that can carry the system when other parts of the system are having problems. The seventh session is fish selection and the aquaculture component. I mean, we've always thought about using different fish in Bristol Fish Project and it's our experience also of why we've always ended up defaulting back to tilapia. But also looking at what is possible currently to farm in the UK, what brood stocks are readily available and also looking not only at fish but at other polyculturing species like crayfish or bivalves, mollusks, that kind of thing. Following that and adding to it is the feed aspect in the eighth session, looking at the nutrient profile of different types of feed and at how they affect fish grow out. This is a really important unit to us because in Bristol Fish Project we wanted to have feeds that promoted optimum nutritional value in the fish that we were producing. Session 9 starts with plant problems. Treating problems in a hydroponic system changes when you've got fish involved and looking at things like um, natural ways to control pests, using insects for pest control, lots of things that we've been trying out in the fish project. Um, the second side of this troubleshooting is fish problems and illnesses. CFAS are going to be helping us with the biosecurity and prevention side of that and then we'll have somebody with veterinarian skills to talk to us about actually medicating the system um, and what it means to have a hydroponics component in your system. Um, for example, using salts, a really common treatment for certain problems in aquaculture but you can't really do that if you're having a freshwater rack dependent on your overall system. The next session that I think will be interesting to anybody who wants to do this commercially is um, full system valorization and looking at 
places in your system where you can add value. There are lots of opportunities that are already being explored in other facilities to get the most out of the system from the many, many waste streams. Finally, there's another practical session, although it will be on a Wednesday night as well, which starts with the nitty gritty of humane fish killing. And then following that, looking at fish processing, fish preparation and eating. <laughs> and so we'll just have a big dinner with us with the fish that we'll have prepared. So a fish filleting class and that kind of thing. If you're interested in the course, you can get in touch through the website www.bristolfish.org forward slash courses or you can email me alicemarie.archer at gmail.com